10% higher right now than it was a year ago. What do you kind of attribute that to? Uh, knowledge of the offense and, you know, Coach Chaney uh, putting, you know, the offense and, and me in a good situation. And that's just kind of understanding uh, more football and, uh, you know, when in doubt, I mean, just check it down. You know, we have great backs and those guys, it's just, just like handing the ball off to them. You know, those guys, uh, they make great plays. So give them the ball and uh, let them, you know, have fun and, and play football with it. Is that a stat you pay attention to, or are there any others that you're sort of when you're looking at, sort of maybe evaluating how you're doing from a statistical point of view? Yeah, um, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a huge stats guy, um, but that is a, a one that's you know kind of kind of sticks out. It's like, hey, you know, I'm I'm getting balls, you know, to my guys, and uh, you know, for them to get the balls a whole lot better than me holding on to the ball. So uh, as long as they're getting the ball, uh, we'll put the offense in a good situation. As you take a look at the tape from the Missouri game, what was one thing that kind of uh, was there anything that kind of stood out? To you the most, or something like, well, like this is something that, that we haven't done in the past, and it, it needs to be fixed. Or not? Yeah, I, I don't think we were really good um, in uh, in executing situational uh, things uh, during the game. Uh, but that's something you know we'll get better at. That's something we practice every week. So um, as we progress, you know, we'll get better at it, and uh, we'll get another chance next week. Jake, you were up 13 at half, obviously without an offensive touchdown. The non-offensive touchdowns that you guys score, how, how demoralizing do you think that is to opponents and, and how much of a best friend is it to, to you guys? Oh yeah, that's just a testament to the program we have. Uh, you know, uh, the special teams is just the, all the work, you know, it's just something that, that pays off. You know, the, the week before, you know, Miko had a part return. Uh, it's just, just, just cumulative work, you know, during the fall camp and, and during practice that just pays off for us. And uh, it definitely helps us, you know, offense, um, you to know, you know, we weren't necessarily playing our best uh, to look up on the scoreboard and, and, and still, you know, you know, being a positive. So that helps. And, um, and it's just, just awesome to see and super helpful for us. Jake, were you in attendance last time Tennessee was here? <coughs> was a recruit when you were here? Um, I was. I was. Sure was. What were your thoughts about that? Ah, uh, man, it's uh, – it, it's just a situation that, that wasn't very good, uh, you know, for them to, to be in that situation, you know, after the penalty and um, just not something very disciplined. And I, I think uh, that Coach Smart and, you know, the program has, has gotten a lot better um, at, at being disciplined and, and being able to execute situational stuff. So, um, you know, we're, we're getting better at it and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be better at it next time around. An injury for Tyler Simmons. Um, you know, what is, what's the receiver room lose with uh, him out, and what do yeah. you lose as a quarterback? Um, they lose a, a physical guy, uh, a really fast guy as well, um, a guy who who's been playing really good football, and um, it, it it really sucks to kind of have him out. And uh, I know he'll be back, and uh, he's going to be doing as much rehab as he possibly can. So we'll be excited when he gets back, and uh, we're going to lose a good one uh, for the week coming up. What do you What are his spirits? Um, you know, he, he's in good spirits. You know, so that's what's good. And, um, you know, he's ready to get back, um, but, you know, time will tell with that one, so. To uh, follow up on that, yeah, as you look at your line, and you, and you see the injury that Andrew was dealing with, and then with uh, Ben going down last week, I mean, what does it say about the, the depth that, that at those spots? I mean, yeah, as you look at it, do you have any concern with those guys being up? Yeah, um, yeah, for the whole team, it's it's a next man up mentality, and that's, just kind of the foundation, you know, we've built um, following, you know, this year uh, with just the depth we have. So it, it really doesn't matter kind of who's out, you know, next next guy up, and uh, we play it that way. But, I mean, as far as the guys, um, you know, Coach Pittman, he gets those guys ready, and um, any guy in that room is uh, fully capable of, of playing on this level. So uh, my full confidence is in them, and i um, excited to see, you know, who gets thrown in there throwing the fire. So. And, uh, you know, we'll go out and play a good football game with them. Following up on that, how important is, like, Lamont's role in, you know, the steady guy kind of helping the mm -hmm. people that float through on the line there? Oh, yeah. I mean, Lamont's huge. Um, you know, having those those interval changeable parts um, on the offensive line, you know, he gets guys and, and uh, you know, all moving in the, in the right direction. And, um, you know, when we're you – know, as far as an offense, as long as we're doing that, uh, we're going to be successful. J.J. Holland's had a couple of really good games back-to-back. -back. What can you tell us about his just work ethic and the chemistry you're putting together with him? Yeah, right um, I mean, he, he's growing, and it's awesome to kind of see the, the plays he's making. So it's just, you know, work that he's been putting in, finally paying off. And um, it's it, it's fun to kind of see the plays he's making, and I uh, definitely have a lot of trust in him going up and making those plays. And uh, he's definitely making me look good. How much work do you expect to see him put in today on uh, crossing the goal line? Yeah, probably, probably a lot of work on that. What's the rivalry mean to you, Jake? The Tennessee rivalry. What's that? The Tennessee rivalry. How's it different from others? What's it mean to you? Um, you know, Tennessee. It's 
uh, a tough opponent. And um, you know, any, anybody in the SEC, you know, week in and week out, um, it, they, they deserve respect. And it, it doesn't really matter who's coming to town or, or where we're going. Um, the SEC, it's a it's a tough division. So you know, we come in and uh, we, we we take you know week to week basis, we we take it seriously. And so we we, we go out and um, we, we kind of have our system and we do that. How much confidence do you have uh, you getting the ball up to Ridley that he's going to make the play? And how has he developed as he gets more reps? Uh, you know, videos? yeah. I mean, Riley, he's he's making great plays right now, and he's doing an awesome job uh, just making plays on the outside, getting by guys, and and, and really just uh, being the, the, the trust level with him is, is at an all-time high. So, super super proud of him, and uh, very comfortable with him right now. And um, just just awesome to kind of see where he's coming, you know, from where he's, you know, where it was at and where he's coming to. So it, it's awesome to see and um, can't wait to see where it goes. When you look at film of Tennessee's defense this year, what do you see, like, schematically that's similar to what Pruitt has done in, in years <coughs> past at, at Alabama, for example? Yeah, um, I mean, that's definitely a game, you know, we'll look at. Uh, it was a national championship game. But, you know, Coach Pruitt, he's, he's going to do the, the – he, his defense, he knows what he does, so um, we'll watch as much as we can and uh, try to get a beat on it and um, hopefully be as prepared as we can. Where is uh, Demetrius Roberts coming along? When could he be a little bit more involved than will he be? Yeah, um, you know, uh, he's, he's coming along really well, um, and that's just kind of a, uh, a coach type thing. Uh, I mean, I honestly have no idea, and uh, we'll just kind of see uh, when we kind of go over the game plan this week and uh, kind of see what kind of part it'll be. Does it kind of speak to the riches of the position where him, even Godwin, who was his team leading turn mm -hmm. receiver, haven't been big factors yet, but the passing game hasn't solved? Yeah, um, I mean, that room is is very talented. Um, you can kind of go in there and see just kind of the just the physical stature of guys in there. So, I mean, guys can run really fast and guys are really tall and guys can make really good plays. So just speaks to the, to the depth of the room and uh, how tough that room really is. Uh, I can't relate, and you may have already talked about this, but the offensive line, um, you know, with Ben out, you know, how does that, you know, how does that impact you? And, and you know, have to have maybe a new guy up there to, to kind of have to work with. Yeah, I mean, I said it before, just next man, next man up mentality. And that's just kind of the, the, the way the team's kind of kind of come to now. So, um, you know, whoever's up, you know, let's go. And uh, we're going to roll with it. He's going to be pretty beat up during the bye week. Is that going to mess up your hunt at all? I mean, you guys going to be able to get on the duck or anything? <laughs> might, might be, might be. But uh, he'll figure it out. How did Schaefer, you know, what was his vibe going in there, uh, playing a lot of snaps in an important game like that? How did he do? Yeah, uh, he's ready. Um, you know, watching film, I, I wasn't, you know, dialed in to kind of see how he did. But, um, you know, he, he's ready. He's ready to go. And I know Coach Pittman in that room will we'll get everybody ready to go. So uh, full confidence in that room and, and ready to go next week. As you know, a lot of the talk after well, last week was about the, the run defense with stopping Missouri. As we look at Georgia's, uh, run production on the offensive end. Uh, are you guys satisfied with that? And which ways do you feel like y'all get more production on the run game? Yeah, um, you know, not not near satisfied is in there. Uh, you know, the, the way we ran the ball in the game is you know could have been, but um, you know something we got to get better at. And um, you know, definitely you know, kind of blocking downfield and uh, trying to break some runs off. So uh, we'll get better at. We'll watch more film on it and uh, try to see how we can get better. And, uh, do the best we can this week. How much of that potential run game improvement would you put on you? Is you putting right chase, getting right play, stuff like that. How much? Is yeah, that um, it, it definitely factors in there, and we'll just have to take a look at it, you know, more closely, um, and just kind of see, you know, what what I can do, what we can do. So uh, it's a it's a team effort, and uh, we'll kind of do the best we can and uh, try to see, you know, what the consistency. How often do you think you check? Uh, I mean. Uh, a lot of the games put on me, so uh, I mean, no idea. Uh, I mean, you could put a percentage on it, but um, it just kind of really depends week to week. Um, uh, a lot of the games kind of put in my hands, and um, I just just really hope I'm, I'm doing the best I can and uh, continue to do that. So do you put it on your shoulders sometimes if they're putting too many guys in the box? Maybe sometimes there have been some times you could have checked into a – Yeah, uh, I mean, absolutely. Um, you know, I have that ability, and they have that trust in me, so – uh, you know, as long as I'm getting everybody moving in the right direction, and uh, you know, sometimes you never check into a back play, so uh, you just kind of roll with it, and uh, you hope it works out. Your efficiency thus far—I mean, you haven't played a whole lot in the fourth quarter, but third quarter versus the rest of the game is kind of off the charts. So, I mean, do you feel like maybe you know, in terms of the way you're playing in the second half, is you're playing that much better in the second half, or are you getting off slow starts? You think? I mean, what do you? How do you think that's working out? I have no idea. Um, 
you know, during halftime, you know, Coach Chaney and uh, Coach Coley and a lot of guys get to come down and talk to us and kind of see what they're seeing. So uh, I think, you know, during that break, uh, uh, a lot of good minds get together and uh, we come out with a really good plan. So, and uh, I think, you know, as far as the team wise, we're well conditioned uh, for the second half. So that definitely has a factor in there too. So, you know, coming out of the second half, we're ready for it. And um, we just got to get off to a faster start in the first. Thanks, Coach.